We talked to an old man who told us that we needed to get some keys in order to open the gate to the town of Prehevel. One from the Bremen army and one from the mayor of the town. We set off to find where these keys might be, and that's when we encountered a man in the woods. A woodsman, if you will. We fought him off with the pistol we stole from the German girl, and won quite easily. We fought through the town again to get to the mayor's mansion, where we were greeted peacefully, although we did take our aggression out on a dark priest nearby. We then talked to the mayor, who put us through a quiz of cuisine, and after proving our worth, gave us his key to the gates. Now we gotta go find the other one. Where is it? And what will be on the other side of the gates when we open them? Find out this time on Fear and Hunger 2, Termina. BSNB Now is a Discord, so click the link in the description and join today. Oh my god. And I've got myself into a corner. Looks like you're gonna have to fight him. Oh my god. <laughs> Weird looking Bro, elephant well, man. And uh, I'm hungry. Oh yeah. Oh, we're at 80? Cause you're cause you didn't feed yourself. Alright. And I'm stuck. Yeah, so we're <laughs> we're gonna have to fight it. You know, I have a feeling that mm. we're not gonna be able to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, you're dead. So, fighting that guy is just impossible. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, also eat. Food. Meat pie. pie. No, no, eat more, because you still have one hunger. But I think the max is 99. Oh, did you? Okay, no, no, I mean, you still have the hunger effect. Yeah, just just, just take a, a little bite of an egg, I guess. We need a turnip. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll eat an egg. Yeah, she like I have less okay. hunger. I have more hunger after eating an egg. Would you? Would you? It's like just like celery. How it like is negative calories. I found a man in the dreams flyer. That's 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 pickle. Have you seen this man in your dreams? It's me, pickle. Over the past week or so, since the full moon, people all over Prehevel and its neighboring settlements see this face in their dreams every night. If you are one of them, or if you have any information that can help us identify this person, please contact us. The flyer mm -hmm. tells you to contact us, but there's no contact information to be found from the flyer. Bro, why would they... <laughs> we, we, there's probably telephones in this time period, right? Well, there's yeah, guns, exist, so right? I don't assume there's, so. Yeah, no, there's, also, there's also TVs, yeah, so telephones that exist. Why would they not put a number? Also, he told us that his name was Pickle, so, you know... We, we, his name is Pickle. Yeah, he's probably Did told everyone. Just say that telephones his name is Pickle, existed so, you know, before we can guns. Him. Before modern guns, yes. Before the Japanese. Well, it didn't exist before Japanese guns, but it existed before guns, as in like uh, cartridge guns, cartridge-loaded guns. I was about to say, I don't remember a telephone being around the same time as a musket. But okay. Muskets, those are ball-loaded slash like uh, those are powder-loaded guns. It's still considered a gun. Th well, technically, those are not considered firearms. Whatever. According to California. I feel bad for anybody who lives in California. I feel bad for anybody who lives in the United States. I feel bad for anyone that lives. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Dude. I feel I... bad for anyone. I feel bad. All right. Round two hopefully never happens because uh, fuck that guy. Oh, shit. I just went down an elevator. It's probably what you were supposed to do. Where's the elevator music? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, hell, it's the girl from the vision. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Suka! I was not expecting that. I was about to be like, wait, wait, wait. We should go back and, like, you know, explore a little bit first, right before we follow her, and, uh, nope. Shit, I'm stuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. We're fucked. Hey, what you He's watching? right behind me, isn't he? What? <laughs> what you watching, well, buddy? this is awkward. What you watching? Um, yeah, he's right behind me, isn't he? He just, he just wanted well, to give you a hug. We could try talking because we're not gonna beat him. Like, like Shognar. <laughs> Let me punch his dick. Punch Shognar in his pee pee. Oh, 
What? Wait, 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 how did that happen? I, I feel like we have to just chance it and go for the head or torso or something because like... I was thinking if we knock him on his- if we get his other leg, he'll get knocked down. And then he'll like stumble. Well, yeah, but he'll still be able to use his arms. True. I mean, it's up to you. Either- I, whatever you do, rev up. Yeah. Nah, that didn't yeah. work. Oh, well, we, we, we better hold shift. Oh, you didn't even do it? I don't remember what the shift button is. Oh, shit! Oh, well, I died anyway. And... <laughs> yeah, uh, so well, we I just... could try equipping a gun instead. Bang, bang. Burr, 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 burr. Newspaper. Am I even using a weapon? Because no, I have no, the bare-fisted thing, We don't want right? to use a weapon because we have the bare- yeah, bare-fisted proficiency. I am I have something equipped. I have the meat mount. Oh, equipped. that's why. No wonder I was doing shit. If we can get him to come over here and chase up through this hallway, we could actually run up and then just start shooting downwards if we can predict his path. That is if we want to really fight him. I mean, it looks like with the thing that we're doing upstairs through the the elevator, there's no choice. You think so? He comes through the elevator as soon as you go through it. So yeah. That's true, but maybe if we were faster to get to that computer, we could have, like, escaped it, you know? I don't think so, but I mean, but we could But to try. be fair, I mean, with killing him, we would get to explore that whole area. Yeah, so when you're in the elevator, I'd say, like, just after we get off, we'll run really far to the right and then equip the pistol and then just spam shooting him until he gets really close to us. And then we'll just unequip it and then beat him up. Because watch, he's going to come through the elevator as soon as we get through. Here. Johnny! Jesus, I can only get one shot off before he, he's fast. Yeah, I think we were made down into the right more. We might have been able to get one more. I think we just have to go to the torso, to be honest. Because, like... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's definitely a heavy hitter. Oh, oh my god. Yo! You killed him. Let's go. Holy shit. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, that was awesome. Fucking two tapped. Well, really four tapped. I need a I need a beer. Cuz his uh doomsday trunk really fucked with my head. Woo. Just beat saw off its head. Aw. Really? Search. Booby. Sturdy overrots and do and booty 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 trap. Oh oh shit, that's gonna be like a bear trap for like in the first game. Like you yeah. can just put a bear trap down and then yeah. I mean we could try forcing it open. I mean Find good. a pressure plate and a broomstick. Go in see what the pressure plate does, cause I'm Let's talk to the door. Open hey, door. Sesame. It's a metal door. <laughs> There's no conversation oh, to be it's had. Pretty metal. We can talk about metal. What's your favorite metal band? <laughs> Let's you metal like, uh, bend. You like System of a Down? I missed the metal door. You like corn? We actually, if we keep going until we get a crit, we actually might be able to do it, to be honest. I missed the metal door. Long story short, we never landed a crit on the door. We also don't know what a pressure plate does yet. Okay, well, that's it. Yeah, like, what is it a pressure do? plate. You can't use it. I mean, I guess it'll, it'll come in handy later, but, like, I don't know what the point of it is now. Uh-oh. Truth under the, the moonlight. The truth under the moonlight? Hey, yo. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Well, first, Should I be first, here? Hold on. First, because we don't know if we're going to make it out of this, let's read the truth under the moonlight, because I want to see what that is. The truth under the moonlight. Who of us who doesn't cover the true face and hide behind a persona? In the broad daylight, we adopt a social role depending on the surrounding people. We put on a mask that works as a public image of our true personality. Do we hide our face to avoid the judgment of the people who do we look down and shame as the sun watches our every move? A sun that knows our deepest longings and lustful thoughts. Only in the no in the darkness of the night. Only in the daughters of the night is the true all nature of me is revealed. Right. We share our decrepit bodies. Only there to, to the select few under the moonlight. 
despite what lonely thieves covering the shadows would like you to think. The moonlight hides no one. Oh! I don't think I want to be here. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Can we go back there? Oh, we can. Oh, shit. I don't think uh, I want to be here. Well, hmm. You got a key. Oh, there's the key we need. Key. The telescope, the teles, the teletroscope cannot be connected to the logic unless all three cables are switched on. Teleelectroscope is what it said. Connecting one before another does not cause any damage to the system, but it should not be done without clear orders from the designated official in charge of the operation. Screw your Who designated is probably official. Dead. Per, please refer to the operation manual for, inf for information on the personnel in charge. Press the button. I did it. Should we go in there, Aaron? Should we go in there, Aaron? <laughs> Should we go in there? You want to try and save first? I don't think so. Well, saving pushes time forward. Mm, oh. Yeah. Honestly, I really got to hand it to Miro for like how good the saving system is. This is the point in the video where I spend way too long talking about how much I love the saving system. But the problem is, I only got through like a fourth of what I wanted to say because Autumn said, Oh shit, wait, how do we get out of here? And then she said, Fuck, that might be the way back. And then I said, Maybe we have to it, like hit this door till we... <laughs> so yeah, I just re-recorded it and moved it to the end of the video because I had a lot that I really wanted to say. And uh, I really like a lot of the points that I made. So, you know, this was basically a mini video essay, all right? Which, you know... Maybe a Fear and Hunger 2 video essay from just me could be coming in the future. I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but like, don't get your hopes up or anything. Ooh, what about Saw Blade? What the fuck? That did fuck? jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that did less damage than All my right. fists. The only other option is going through that. There's no other doorway. Oh fuck, and now we, we have the gun. Let's see if we can run and then like unequip it real quick. Cause if we unequip it here, it takes up a turn. <gasps> there we go. Okay, awesome. Now let's see if we can run around it. Just just if Oh, we can. Okay, okay. Oh yo, you got your ankles fucking broke. Did we see what was to the right there? Ew. Cross colored pearl. So what to the left here? No, to the right. Well, it's a little too late for that now. Yeah. Well, if oh, we shit, can. Oh shit! another one. Oh my god. Oh fuck, man. Yeah, I want to get those barrels. Oh god, damn it! You soft lock there. Tomato. Yo, hey, ankles broke. Go. NBA, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Fuck you guys. I'm out. That's a lot of body parts. And it looks like they can't come in through the door either. Go up the ladder, please. Yo, I I, I just fucking broke th all of their ankles. I'm going to try not to activate them unless I absolutely have to. Because it seems that they act like they follow you as soon as you get near them. I, of course, have one of those brains that when I play games and I see like a billion different ways to go, I'm like, I want to explore every corner of here. And there's like, it, it looks like there's like 10 different directions we could go exploring this place. <gasps> Who's this? Hey, yo, what? Bremen Lieutenant? Ooh. You made it out alive. I take it you found the key for the city gates. Oh, yes, that's the one. The one with the eagle. Good, good. I would have gotten it myself, but <laughs> you've never known what lurks in the deep depths of that soil. Besides, the festival is only at its beginning. I don't want to do anything too risque just yet. Now I know you can be a reasonable person, so would you please oh. open the city gates? Uh -oh. I got some 
Ach, so a business to attend to. So, be killing you later. I mean, seeing you later. Don't help him. He said he's gonna kill you. Do we want to explore the rest of that place? Because I kind of fuck no. Think we should. That place is a what death trap. Well, yeah, but they're really easy to escape the uh, everywhere the is a death trap. Things, you know. Yeah, yeah. We remember what game we're playing. But yeah, we can go unlock the uh, city. I suggest that we g the next time we go save, we can go back down there because I mean, it's not going anywhere. Or is it? No, it's probably not going anywhere. The poignant rooftops of Prehevel rises before you. It's a okay looking city. The air stands oh. still. Everything feels easy. This is nice. Peaceful. Meat pie. Got the uh, rotten guts on the table, you know. Meat. The bowl with some blood in it, you know. It's a nice little place. It's just strawberry jam. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Strawberries. Or it's tomato. No, it's just tomato tomato juice. Just really weird looking spaghetti. We spent a lot of time looting this place, but the main highlight was... <gasps> alcohol? Please drink responsibly. Fill up glass vial. You get a wine vial. Oh, it's just Yo, keep, wine. keep doing that. Okay. okay, well, we can't... get That, that way is just a no-go. Oh, shit. No, but I, th I think I think we'll we are fast enough to get around him. We could also use the trap. I think that's a bit of a waste, don't you think? Is it though? Oh my god! See, you remember how earlier on, like when uh, we talked to the like the salary man, and he was like, "Maybe we should alert the local police." And I was like, "I don't think the local police are around anymore." I guess they are. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Oh, oh my god. I'm just gonna I don't know how search we were local able barrels. To search that barrel from up there. <gasps> Pocket cat! Yo! Yo! Pocket cat! <laughs> oh my god! There's a tall man here wearing what seems to be a rubber mask. Oh, oh! Here I am, busy with my own business, completely ignoring this beautiful chap. All apologies. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Pocket Cat. <laughs> you have one of those familiar faces. I feel like we've met somewhere before, perhaps in a past life. Yeah, I think I'm so. Yeah, maybe because we played the first game. Things sure have changed since then, haven't they? We live in a peculiar times. Yeah, we like became a god and everything and, you know. The world has gone through true darkness. The world is when it is standstill in a deep rest. People stocked up on toilet paper and hid in their homes with their loved ones. Oh, that sounds like something that recently happened. Wow, it sure, it sure, it sure doesn't remind me of any world events. They were waiting for that glimpse of light just because they knew that even in the darkness, it has a breaking point. Say, old sport, what do you think follows such intense darkness? It has to be light, more peaceful times. The darkness isn't quite over yet. Chaos and confusion, growth into something new. I can't be bothered with this. I feel like the most pocket cat answer is growth into something new. I would say that, yeah. To be honest, yeah. Yes. Change is the only thing inevitable. From personal experience, I'd say true darkness is followed by chaos. The mind or the common consciousness we all share strives for something new. <laughs> there's just there's just that one police officer who's just standing there like, can we get on with it, please? Like, I've been sitting here waiting for y'all to finish yapping. Like... <laughs> the person in the body bag? <laughs> no, 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 the, the police officer that froze when we started uh -oh. talking to Pocket Cat. But there lies the danger. You see, chaos can ragdoll us in any one direction. Including to the left or the right. Depends on your political position. The direction or is not always or towards the light. Sometimes one can find themselves lost in limbo that is the chaos. Also known as the third party. 
<laughs> when you enter the limbo from a dark place, there is a big chance that you contaminate the chaos with your darkness and just create a new pitch black place. Maybe even darker than the one before? I guess I'm just rambling here. Letting my mind wander and mouth slander, as they say. <laughs> you know me. When I get excited, I can go on and on and on. Can I have a sip of your drink? I didn't mean to take your time. From what I... Oh, sorry. There's nothing in it. God damn it! I'm thirsty. Oh, I thought you were talking to Pocket Cat. Like From what I understand, you've got your hands... <laughs> <laughs> can I have a sip no, of your just drink? The way you said it, <laughs> you were like, Ugh, In the you... middle of him no. talking. No. It's a bag. <laughs> it's it a can't child. Hold liquid. <laughs> yeah, well, there's clearly liquid seeping out from below on the, the bag. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a child. <laughs> from what I understand, you've got your hands full with a festival already. So I'll get straight to the point. And there's a police officer standing right behind you, waiting Not... for your autograph. Not only a wandering gentleman, but I'm also a head salesman of sorts with deep, deep pockets. What is a head salesman, you ask? I sell head. No, it's pretty obvious. I give head and I take it. Well, it is exactly what it sounds. That's what I I'm, said. I'm willing to part from my valuable collection if the price is right. <laughs> and the price is... Oh, the price is severed heads of those. If only we severed the, the head of um fucking what's her face that girl, a uh, German girl. Macabre, I know. Macabre. But you get used to it. God knows I did. <laughs> Which one? Who knows? <laughs> this is what I have to offer. It is quite a nice collection, even if I say so myself. Zero contestant heads is all you got. What do you want to trade them for? I've got nothing. <laughs> oh, that Book of Enlightenment's gonna be, like, real, uh, real important. Ah. Ah. Never mind. Happy to do business with you. I've <laughs> done nothing. We haven't done... Okay. It was truly a pleasure to meet you once again. But I fear I'm and hunger for now. The tower you were heading towards, it's to the east of here, just beyond the church's hidden passage. Never again. The the you know this you know the saying, never eat soggy waffles, but that doesn't work because it's north, east, south, and west. But what? you know whatever. <laughs> okay. Let us meet again there. Perhaps I'll even have a special deal for you. My pockets are very deep, you see. Because if you were to read it in the, from left to right, Just it wouldn't. It would be never shut wet, up. soggy. Autumn, wheat. I don't know what you're trying to do with this bit. What the fuck? <laughs> shut up, bro. <laughs> because if you were to say it from left to right, you it would are be so never. Annoying. It would. It would. It would be never waffles soggy eat. Because that the saying "never eat soggy waffles" that'd be that would be reading it from right to left, like you were reading it in Japan. Oh my god! Huh? Because the saying "never eat soggy." Let us meet again there. Perhaps I'll even have a special deal for you. My pockets are very deep, you see. But until that time, old sport, take care, take care. Brrr. Well, um, that happened. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you like our videos maybe you should consider becoming a member. Speaking of which, thank you to all of our YouTube members. They make this possible. If you want to join and get your name shown here, hit the join button or the link in the description. And thank you to our gold tier member, The Pinky Life. If you want to be shouted out too, select the gold peeps tier in our membership tiers. Last thing we'll say before we get out of your hair is that we have merch. Stickers, clothing, water bottles, buttons, magnets. That was not easy to say. We have it all. Anyways, that's it for me. We'll see you guys next time. Huh? Even with the coin toss mechanic being as unfair as it is, like as far as saving goes in the first one, there is no limit to the amount of saves that you can do throughout a given playthrough. So, you know, there is still stakes when going from one save point to the next, and you're not even sure if you're definitively gonna be able to save there. But in this game, you're going like 30, 40 minutes of like exploration without saving. And it just makes it more and more intense the whole time. And because the amount of saves are finite, you then feel a lot more pressured to accomplish a lot more without saving. 
which just, in my opinion, puts me on the edge of the seat a lot more than the first game did. Because the more and more time goes on, the more I'm like, fuck, we could die at any second. And if we do, we're gonna lose a lot more than what we did in the first game, because in the first game, we definitely didn't have segments where we went this long without saving. Plus, if you get something extremely good RNG related very early on into your segment, then you have to decide for yourself, okay, is this thing that I got through RNG good enough to justify the save right now? And if you just decide on no, I don't think I'm gonna save, then your entire segment after that is just going to be very, very anxiety inducing because you really don't wanna lose that incredible thing that you got. And if you do that in the first game, you'd immediately be running to the save point, trying to save and just going, okay, well, let's just get the coin toss over with because you know either I win or I lose, just there's a 50-50 chance um, and you're not nearly as attached to it in the present but with this game you're like 30 minutes into it you're really attached to that item and then you lose it all and you're just like god damn it like that stings harder you know so by being a lot more risky and doing a lot more in your run going into uncharted territory finding things that progress your characters exponentially like there's a lot that you can do that will really reward you, but you'll be punished if you just kind of sit by and save every 10, five, five, 10 seconds, you know? So it's just such a really cool system. So yeah, I just recorded for quite a while, trimmed it down a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It was pretty much just spur of the moment unscripted. Like I'm gonna go back and finish editing the rest of the video now. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, um, I don't know what to say, so see y'all in the next one. <laughs>